Fatmaral Noor says her family was one of the last to leave her neighborhood near Sudan's capital Khartoum because they couldn't afford to leave earlier. When the war reached us, there were bombshells everywhere, killing more than 20 of my neighbors each day. People here have come from places where there's almost no support, health services are closed, they're cut off from food, so they're hoping for better luck at their destination, the transit camp in the town of Reng. Nyoka Cole says he was shot in the stomach more than two months ago. His journey's been agony. For months, it's been receiving South Sudanese returnees like Nyok. The UN Refugee Agency built it for about 3,000. Now there are more than five times that. It's not uh, enough what we are receiving. We have a massive number of returnees and refugees who need assistance, but our capacity and funds are very limited.